What is happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish and today we are talking pink salmon and pink flies. We got a really simple one for you to start off with for this season. We're super excited to target pink salmon and we know you will be too. So follow along as we get after it. Alrighty, in the vise we have an A-Rex NS122 size 4 and we got a dazzle brass bead in fluorescent hot salmon peak. This is the 532nd. So the cool thing about this targeting this species as you can go very simple and you can go very complex when it comes to flies as well as different sizes and weights. Again, this is a species that is not crazy challenging to catch which makes it especially fun to tie and tie at all levels. We're going to start throwing in some thread here and we'll build up a little bit of a thread dam behind this bead just to hold it in place. I'm not going to add any lead free or lead wire wraps on this. Uh, one, but I will in some other ones. I do like to have different weighted flies when I'm out on the water. Almost more so than different sizes. Alrighty, like I just mentioned, this is going to be a very, very simple fly. If you follow this channel, you'll see that we do tie some simple flies, we do tie some complex flies, and when it comes to pink salmon, you can do both. So we got some fluorescent hot pink marabou here from Fish Hunter. Just gonna throw a wrap in, wrap in. We cut this rust off here. A little bit less. We want to taper that down to the bead here, and then we'll wrap it on. Try and keep it up on top. We're just building a little bit of profile, but we do want those tails to come off the top there. Sweet. So good. So far. Alrighty, next thing we're going to do, we can do crystal flash. You can do these on the top or on the bottom. You can do it first or second. I haven't noticed a difference in productivity. I do just want a little flash in there. You just want it to go the length here. So if there's a few that you need to pull out a little bit, perfect. If not, so far so good. Trim. Alrighty, and now we only have a few more elements. This is the medium crystal flash chenille. This is a nice little chenille. It's got some stiffer fibers in it. Uh, it's going to really hold its profile. It's got some great color. This is the fuchsia, but it does blend really well with these two different colors of pink that we've already implemented. And we're just going to go touch and wraps. We're as close to touching wraps as we can here. Try and keep those fibers facing back as much as you can. One last wrap. Let's see. And the beauty about the flies that you'll use for these pink salmon is you can also use them for coho. So you can double dip here. A lot of the patterns will be successful for both species. Alrighty. So we just built a little bit of a thread up. And we can't have a fly on the Spawn Fly Fish channel without a little spawn product. So we're going to throw in some semi-seal collar here. Just tighten things up a little bit here to finish things off. Sweet. All right, whip finish, and we are done. Like I said, this is a species that you do not need to overthink. If you know how to tie a woolly bugger, you know how to tie for this species. Pink salmon are not hard to catch. And when they come in here into the Pacific Northwest, they are a lot of fun. Highly recommend getting out and fishing for them. A little bit of head cement. 
Again, I would recommend tying these in different weights with that front bead, maybe some lead-free wire wraps or lead wire wraps. And that does it. Very, very simple fly. It will work. When you think pink salmon, think pink flies, you will have success. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.